In Live, some of the audio effects have some randomization options, such as in this auto filter, you can choose a random LFO wave shape, and in the beat repeat, you have this chance factor that introduces some randomization. But what if you want to introduce some randomization into some of the other effects? That's where the Max for Live device randomizer comes in. Delete these effects and add in the device randomizer. Like the other effects that have been covered, you need to map it to an effect. How about randomizing the ping pong delay frequency? Click on map. It'll say click on the device header to randomize it. Click on the ping pong delay header. And now its parameters get randomized. So it's set to automatic randomization. If you click on trigger, it'll randomize the effects on the parameter each time you click this button. So maybe you want to chuck an effect on a track and you're not too sure what you want to go for. Pull in the device randomizer, start randomizing the parameters and you'll have some effect options. This arrow expands the options. Go back to auto and click randomize. You can change the random frequency value. It's set in Hertz or you can sync it up to the project tempo. You can smooth out the randomizations and change the curve shape. See how the filter frequency changes when you edit the curve shape. Down here, you have the random frequency modulation that can be set to sync or frequency. And the depth of the modulation can be increased or decreased. When you go over to edit, you can choose which parameters you want randomized. Currently, they're all set to on, but you can change their state. Let's say you only want the filter frequency to be randomized. Click on these to change them to off. Or let's say you only want the filter width randomized. Click that on and turn the filter frequency off. So that's another way to introduce some form of randomization into your audio effects and really spice up your music productions.